All right. So it's raining. It's always raining in Kentucky, which I love, but it's not great for working outdoors. I'm in a carport right now. Actually, I'll just show you what I'm working with. So this is what I've been doing all year is working inside this carport. I'm gonna show you on here. So this is my table saw covered in two layers uh, to protect it from the rain. And this is my lighting setup. I don't have a uh, fancy light. I've done a lot of big production things, but I don't have a personal like video light. So in the absence of a light and a light box, I have a Home Depot lamp and a towel that's on a ladder in front of my camera. I also have an actual little video light up here. This thing is freaking awesome and it's just giving some more light to, uh, to the background here. So that's what I'm working with. Um, but I wanted to talk about the materials that I use to build this van because I think it's kind of neat. Humans building things exists on a scale, right? Like one side of the scale is living on a farm, living off the land, building a log cabin. And then the other side of the scale is something like dumping nuclear waste into a river. And homes and vans, like building projects, they, they exist somewhere on that scale. And as much as I can, when I can, I wanna push the building process toward that log cabin. It's not perfect, there's a ton of packaging, there's a ton of wood glue and adhesive glue. There's a lot of byproducts and waste, but where I could, I wanted to have as little impact on the earth as possible. And the solutions I came up with are actually the most exciting things about the van to me. I'm gonna talk about the seven main things that are either renewable, recycled, or recyclable. The first being the countertop. That's this right here. I'm stoked about this. Make it with paper. I love it. This is what I chose to use for the countertop. So it's a black countertop. It's called Black Diamond. It is expensive. It was expensive to get shipped here. It came in a four by eight sheet on a full semi truck in the front yard which was hilarious to see but i was able to cut it down into four pieces which i can turn into three countertops and extension tables for vans so it's not that bad it comes in all these different colors there's a couple of uh cool layered and they say that this is as strong as stone but you can work it like wood and i can attest to that i was able to cut out the sink cut out the um, the two burner stove and route everything it makes a mess but it wasn't hard to do now i didn't do this for this van but this is really cool they put a layer of bamboo right in the middle of the black material so it's lightweight it's awesome now here's the cool thing about this it's 100% recycled paper. Now there's obviously resin in there too, but this is what it looks like before they process it. 100% recycled paper. It's just compressed paper. Oh my God, dude, sage is, look at this. Sage, what's up? Hi, hey. Oh God. The moral of the story is I'm stoked about this material. It's extremely durable. It was easy to work with and it's 100% recycled paper, which I just think is really cool. Um, I, I really do. It's, it's the thing that I'm the most excited about for this whole project. Actually, these are all firsts. Everything I'm about to mention, this is the first time I've used all of these products and I'm ecstatic about basically all of them. It's raining so much. Hopefully I can use this audio. We will see. The countertop from Rich Light is recycled. The bamboo is renewable. It's the first time in a project that I've ordered samples. These are the bamboo samples. I wanted to know what the crosscut section would look like. I wanted to know what stain could go in there. Very fast growing. It replaces, you can replace. Bamboo is, damn. There's so much wind stuff is falling over. All right, what's next? Um, 8020. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about what 8020 is. If you follow bands, I'm sure you're familiar with it. It's an aluminum extrusion and it's extremely robust and creates a rigid frame. The entire framework of the van is built on this, but the good thing about this aluminum is that at the end of the van's life, it can be taken apart and then this aluminum can be recycled. The same goes, the same goes for stainless steel. 
So some of the trim work is done with this stainless steel and at the end of the van's life that can be recycled as well along with the bolts and, and nuts and everything that, that was also used. I tried to put as much real stainless steel as I could into the van for that reason. Uh, what's next? Havelock wool, okay. Oh, and the shower pan. The shower pan is also stainless steel. So the insulation is done with a company called Havelock Wool. Again, I'm not gonna go into too much detail. I'm sure if you follow Vans, you've heard of it. I love working with this stuff. It's non-toxic, it's fire retardant. I've tried to light, actually. So it starts. Oh, okay. Oh man, dude. Whew. Okay, wool that comes from New Zealand, environmentally friendly, renewable, non-toxic. Apparently that polysio, which I do have in the subfloor of the van, that pink or green styrofoam stuff that you see as insulation, the process for making that is horrible for the environment. And if it cracks in your van and starts squeaking, that'll ruin the van. Next product. Rope rubber floors. This is so cool. I wish I did this in every van that I had. I got to order some samples. So I checked out all of these colors. I mean, you can get so creative. Huh? Maybe you wanna, maybe you want some red? Huh? So I love all those color options. I went with a, I went with this gray. And the other thing that you can choose is the textures. I'm sure everyone's familiar with that texture and it is that company that does this. Uh, you can get pebbled. Here's the thing about this. Why is this on the list? Well, it's rubber. And while I'm sure this process involves a lot of chemicals, you know, it's on that sliding scale. It's still rubber, which is a renewable resource. And that's awesome. And here's the other thing. This is why I ordered samples too, right? So I have the rich light counter. I got the bamboo. I could see, okay, I like the way those look together. And then I was able to hold up the exact products that I was gonna use and choose the texture and choose the color of the floor. Again, they're expensive, but they are so damn good. They're so durable. And it's held onto the floor with an epoxy. All of these materials, the reason I'm so excited about them is it's not sacrificing any quality. In fact, it's the best quality you can find. So on a Venn diagram of environmentally friendly, at least ish, and hyper durable high-end materials, these all fit in between that section and I'm pumped about that. Also, this is the company name. See that? Rope. I'm gonna put all this in the description of the video. Um, this is not on the list of environmentally friendly, recyclable, renewable, all those buzzwords. Um, but this is the tile, right? I'm stoked on it. It's a beautiful blue. It's a cool look. It's from Italy and it's fancy. All right, here's the thing. I got a different tile at first. Let me show you that. So this tile, oh my God. I wish, I wish that was on purpose. Okay, this is the tile that I was gonna use originally. Love it, I think it looks great. Got it from a big box store. I bought, I bought ceramic tile, uh, which is fine. And it's nice, I like it, it looks good. But, you know, I wanna make the best quality van I can. And this, so I'm gonna go buy some porcelain tile. So this tile's ceramic. All right, now this tile is porcelain. Bad example. Okay, how could I do this? All right, I think this will be better. I'm going to lift this up to this height. I'll leave this end on the ground, lift that up to there. All right, that broke the tile, no problem. Let's try that again. <laughs> this is not scientific. Same height, 
did not break the tile. Uh, what else could I do? What else could I do? Maybe a drop. This is me being a scientist. Okay, so here we go. Yep. And the force. Alright. The point is, the ceramic seemed... Yeah. Maybe, maybe neither was a good example. What I was finding was that the ceramic was breaking and the porcelain was a much stronger material. So I opted for porcelain. The, uh, the general rule of thumb is that porcelain is a more durable material than ceramic. Um, anyway, maybe they're not hammer proof. The point of this video is that there's no perfect solution to any of this, but I was pretty stoked when I started looking into this and finding out that the best quality materials that I could possibly find also happen to be somewhat environmentally friendly. Something to consider if you're building your own van. And yeah, I just geeked out on all this stuff, especially especially this, I'm really excited about that. Um, yeah, the bamboo is fun to work with, the floors look awesome. The, uh, the 8020 was easy, great, creates a really strong structure. And um, yeah, the stainless steel looks good, the Havelock wool is, is great, it smells like a farm when you're putting it in. Uh, but it, it doesn't stick around, but boy, when you open that package, you're like, I'm a farmer. Yeah, so thank you for watching this video. I might re-record this later tonight when the rain stops. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Oh, yeah, and, and stick around. The next video is the van tour of the final product of this van. So keep an eye out for that. saw this hilarious meme. So Kentucky has, has 12 seasons. Winter, Fool's Spring, second winter, Spring of Deception, which is right now. Third winter, The Pollening. Spring, Summer, Hell's Front Porch, that's accurate. False Fall, second summer, actual fall. 12 seasons. We're at the Spring of Deception right now. It's raining, it's, it's not freezing. I'm kind of stoked about it. I'm actually a little warm right now. And, I love raining in Kentucky. Anyway.